on your telegram, you mentioned about Trump being the king of Scotland. She had this feeling that he is Manessa and JFK Jr. Okay. Manessa is a tribe. Okay. So a person, a person is not going to be Manessa, right? A person is not going to be a Joseph, right? They're coming from that, that tribe. And um, we, it's very clear that President Trump is from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe of Judah, okay? So we can't try to be like, oh, he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that, because God is being very intentional with President Trump. God is being very intentional with what he is doing in the Judah bloodline. God is being very intentional what he's doing with the tribe of Judah, with the tribe of Manasseh, with the tribe of Joseph, okay? Um, and they have become like, like nations, all right? Uh, but Manasseh is a nation, like Judah is a nation, and it's connected to all coming under together as one government under Jesus Christ. So we got a prophetic word that uh, America is Ephraim, the younger son of Joseph, the younger, more fruitful one. And Scotland, Great Britain, and Ireland are Manessa, right? The older brother. And America uh, is coming beside Israel, right? Coming beside Israel. Israel is who? Jacob. And all the tribes are being brought back as one nation under Jacob. President Trump with his Judah bloodline and his bloodline to King David is a rightful heir to the throne of Scotland, but he's also the rightful heir to the throne of Israel, of Jerusalem, okay? So we know before Jesus Christ returns that the Jew and the Gentile, the Jew and the Christian come together as one, right? One government, and there will be a king, an earthly king, from the bloodline of Judah, because the throne has to be reestablished in Jerusalem by an earthly king, right, to open up the doors and welcome King Jesus in and give him his rightly throne of King David. So I believe President Trump is being used for that. I believe because of his Davidic bloodline, that's going to be connected into this end time promises of Jesus and also the Jew coming to know Yeshua Messiah, preparing to welcome him back to Jerusalem and handing him, gladly handing him the throne of David that's been reestablished in these days, according to the scriptures in Amos 9-11, where God is going to build back up the house of King David. But I will tell you this, uh, Trump's Judah bloodline is very clear and it's very important. Manessa means that Scotland uh, and Ireland and Britain will also uh, uh, be a part of this, and America, Ephraim, will be a part of this. Joseph uh, represents the uh, favored son of Israel and the father of the only two sons that got the, the uh, two grandsons that got the fatherly blessing. So Manessa and Ephraim are grandsons, the only grandsons to get the fatherly blessing from Jacob, who is Israel. And so when people say Joseph, uh, Joseph is connected to Christians because Joseph represents Jesus Christ. He represents uh, the brothers of Christ coming to know their brothers again. And the, the two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh were never at war with each other, were never at odds with each other. It's that brotherly love that comes under Jesus Christ. So, so Joseph is connected to uh, Christianity um, and the Christians that are coming in to bless the Jews and restore the, that brotherly uh, blessing. And so the, the bloodline of Joseph was also connected to uh that I will make the bloodline of Joseph all kings, which is connected to our kingship in Jesus Christ. Okay, so Trump, definitely Judah, connected to Judah, restoring the Davidic line, restoring the, the uh, Jerusalem, restoring the throne of King David, and preparing the way for um, hundreds and thousands and millions of Jews to come to know Yeshua Messiah. Uh, all these, uh, these predictions of building up the... Uh, 
uh, throne of King David again, the house of King David from Amos happening, and then preparing the way for King Jesus to return. And it's like Joseph, it's like Joseph's brothers recognizing Joseph again, you know, and that's that connection. Um, it's all very prophetic. If you, if you read the story of Joseph with his brothers of Israel, it's our story for right now. Right, about the Jews, the Jewish brothers recognizing their brother Joseph, who have been away away for a while. And he, they didn't recognize him for a long time. They didn't recognize Jesus for a long time. But they're going to recognize him, and it's all going to come together, and um, it's the Christians that are going to help this, okay? And um, it's all very, very beautiful. As far as JFK Jr. and the Kennedy line, uh, I did have some revelation on that, that that was definitely connected through Joseph, okay? And um, would have been through the Fitzpatrick, um, I'm sorry, the Fitzgerald bloodline um, of, of Manessa. So that could be connected through Manessa. But um, we also discerned that the JFK line uh, fits. Gerald could also be through Judah as well. So there's going to be a lot more things that the Lord has been revealing, but we have definite confirmation on President Trump being of the bloodline of Judah. Uh, we have definite um, uh, research on that. We have definite research on America being Ephraim and Scotland, England, and Britain being Manasseh coming get back together as brothers with uh, Israel and uh, the, the Church of Brotherly Love which is Jesus' dream church, all coming back together, Jew and Gentile, Jew and Christian coming back together as one. The Christians, which represent Joseph, are going to be the major work in that, and mainly coming from America, Britain, Scotland, and those countries. And you see it happening right now. And God is restoring his family back to him. And Jesus' brothers are being restored back to him. I mean, it's just, it's just so beautiful and amazing. I mean, God writes the best stories. You know, and he will use the descendants of Manasseh and Judah and to help bring this along. But really what they are is they're, they're a tribe and they're connected to nations now that are going to come back and be one. And I love that Man, uh, that Manasseh is uh, Scotland. Manasseh is Scotland, England, um, Ireland and Canada, and his younger brother is Ephraim, was America, and got the fatherly blessing from Israel, and their father is Joseph, and it's just amazing how God is going to bring all this back together. I mean, all for Jesus. It's so beautiful. And here's my teaching on America being Ephraim, the tribe. And uh, it, will God use certain people to help bring this all back together? Yes, he's, gonna, he's using Trump. He's using JFK Jr. Most of all, he's using us, the body of Christ, <laughs> right? The Josephs. Hallelujah. And there's my teaching. Prophetic insight, Trump Kennedy Tartans. And uh, where is America in Bible prophecy? Number 13 of the tribe of Ephraim, that's America.